Today we're going to be going through labeling your pitches for Merrily We Roll Along. Just a quick reminder of how you go about doing that. You always have to ask yourself the question first, is the note head sitting on a line or a space? If it is sitting on a line, you are going to use the saying, every good boy does fine. If it is in a space, you're going to use space. So let's ask ourselves those questions here so you can see them. Is the note head on a line or space? If the answer is line, you are going to use the saying, every good boy does fine. Remember, you're always starting on the bottom line and working your way up. If it is in a space, you are going to use the saying, or the word, rather, face. One letter for each space. So using this process, let's go through and label merrily we roll along. So taking a look at our first note, the note head is sitting on a line. Because it's on a line, we're going to use our saying, every good boy does fine. Third line up is boy, B for boy. Using capital letters always to label, those lowercase letters do mean something different. Second note we have in a space, so we're going to use face, F-A-C-E, so we have an A here. Next over, think to yourself, is it on a line or in a space? It is on a line, so you're going to use this saying, every good boy does fine, every good boy does fine. And next we have a note head that is in a space. We're going to use face again, F-A-C-E, back to A. And we have another line, so we're going to use our saying again, every good boy does fine. Now you can continue with this process throughout the entire song, but there are a few other things that you can look for too. No, for the recorder, we only learned B, A, and G so far. Our music is even giving us a hint in the corner here that those are the only three that we're going to be using. So if you end up with anything besides a G, an A, or a B, and merrily we roll along, it's a good idea to check your work because that's most likely not the correct answer. Something else you can do is try and find similar notes. So for example, in this measure, you have three notes that are all the same. They all sit on the same line. So I can use that to show me they're all B's. If I look ahead in my music, I'm seeing that that's happening again. So once again, we have an entire measure of all B's. And if you're not sure, check using our sayings. On a line, every good boy does fine. Three B's, good. Let's back up here. Okay, three of the same note. Let's see what that note is. They all sit in a space. So because it's in a space, we are going to use face, starting at the bottom, working our way up. F, A, C, E. So we have three A's. You can continue with that process, or like I said, find more patterns. Notice that the first measure looks exactly the same as our fifth measure down here. So I'm going to go ahead and write down those same letter names for this measure here because there are the same notes. We have a B, an A, a G, and an A. Continuing with that pattern, seeing it again, we have three more Bs. Now this changes a little bit, so let's go back to our sayings, right? So in a space, you're going to use F, A, C, E, you have an A. Same note. Now you're back to a line, so we're going to use every good boy does fine. B. Same as these two over here, it is in a space, F, A, C, E, so we have A. And your final note, every good boy does fine because that is sitting on a line. So every good, that is a G. We're going to label that there. This symbol here, reminder, 
That is a symbol for rest, two beats of silence, and silence doesn't need a pitch. A few other reminders of the things that you're looking at on this page. This symbol at the end right here is called your double bar. Your double bar tells you that the song is complete. You also see single vertical lines. Those are your bar lines. Those separate your measures. And finally, we have our time signature in the beginning. Our time signature tells us how many beats are in a measure, looking at that top number only right now. Don't worry about the bottom yet, just the top. We know we're gonna have four beats in a measure. Our time signature tells us that. Let's check that to make that make a little more sense here. All of these notes are quarter notes. We know that quarter notes get one beat. So we have one plus one plus one plus one. That measure does have four beats. Good, let's look at another one. Two quarter notes, both are worth one and a half note that's worth two. So one plus one plus two also gives you four. That's gonna be correct all the way through our song. That four, four times signature tells us how many beats are in a measure. All right, I hope you enjoy playing Merrily We Roll Along.